Welcome back to Down to Business. Today I'm here with Crocodile, Crocodile Rocks founder, Mike. Now, Mike, we've talked a little bit about what got you in the business, kind of what captured mm -hmm. your passion, and what's allowed you to be successful for over 33 years. Let's talk about the marketing angle, because you have a very niche product that goes in um, to a lot of home building things, but also not everybody's home has the quality of work that you, you supply. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what you found has really worked for you and what maybe hasn't worked for you in the marketing space. Okay. Um, Primarily, really, um, it, it's it's word of mouth, mm -hmm. and so um, really early on, I, um, you know, you have to make decisions on how you run your business, and you know, you need to always get paid, right? Yep. So, I'd seen people get sued and stuff like that, so I just figured, you know, I think what you could always do is do it so well that they have to pay you, <laughs> <laughs> and if you do it that well. Um, you know, the quality actually is really high, and um, then you get referrals. People see it, they ask about it. Um, so we actually went really with no advertising whatsoever until really after the, uh, was it, I think it was 2000 uh, when they had the, the dot-com yep. crash. And um, then we, we did ad, uh, had an ad in um, the Seattle Magazine, which actually was pretty effective. Um, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. But, yeah. Um, what's nice about that is that people actually uh, recognize you. I mean, uh, when you when you when they come in and you talk to them, they they already feel like they know you. Yeah. Um, and then um, you know, really, that's we do. You know, we have a little bit in our um, you know in the yellow pages, and then we have a website, mm -hmm. um, which. I think also is another, I think that's really the trend of the future because um, I really, I don't use a phone book at all anymore and I know that most people don't. Right. So um, I, I think that that's a, a, a really good good way to advertise. And I imagine that with that word of mouth piece, you're working with a lot of designers, a lot mm -hmm. of people that are coming through and helping people make these decisions and that's probably kind of where you're really working to leverage your name and, and, and build partnerships with people. Exactly. Relationships is the business. I mean, that's yeah. that's really, if you always you know, say what you're going to do and do what you say you're going to do, you know, uh, people people will refer you and, and, and because they can trust that, you know, that you're not going to let them down. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're in a, something that we always know with all kinds of construction. There's all kinds of interesting things that goes on, especially when you're doing redesigns or designing a, a dream home. There's a lot of expectations mm -hmm. that go into that. And so it's very easy for a misalignment of expectations. So if you can exceed those, as you mm -hmm. said, so you, they, you force them to pay you, that's, yeah. a, that's a big thing. Yeah, and, and you know, stone also too, um, especially marble and onyx, are really kind of an emotional thing mm -hmm. for people. And so they get, you know, they get really, you know, really into it and if you kind of flub that up it's it's not good <laughs> yeah absolutely what's uh like what's a project maybe that you've used and, and leverage into additional jobs or any like sh show pieces like that that you have around the area or uh, things uh, that you kind of harken back to yeah I mean like even the one that we did that we worked on for seven years I mean that really was was one that I just did a vanity for some people that you know were in the same company and you know one thing led to another. Yeah, I mean, it ended up. I mean, that was a that was a really big job for a long time for us. Yeah, and the great part is, is you have a really great client exp experience because you are dealing with such high end homes. You know that they have friends that are in the same area, and so you do a good job there. It can extend and have lots of other networks. You talked about your website a little bit. When did you get in? Like, when did you go with the dot com? When did you build your website? What have you found great about it? What have you found to be uh, you know problematic? Well, um, we had actually uh, one of the people that worked for me. His wife wife's best friend was uh, going to the UW and she had to do it as a project. Oh nice. So we actually, um, she did it for free and um, I mean it's a really good job and she en ended up I think going on to work for um, the Bill Gates Foundation oh, you know, nice. doing theirs. <laughs> yeah. so, it, it, you know and, and right away I mean we got really good feedback from it and um, it's, it's kind of like having a uh, a living brochure yeah that um, that people can look at and it's and it's and you can you can adjust it and you know based on what's new and and uh, you know keep it updated that way absolutely and are you using a lot of photos and things like that and you feel like that's the reason people come is that you kind of talk to them here's some of the other things we've done and really giving 
because you're you're really kind of an artist with a lot of things you're doing so a lot of the custom stuff yeah and so you, you yeah they can see the you know really like the depth of what what you can do and and even if it isn't exactly what they're gonna what they're gonna have done it gives them confidence that um, that you you can will be able to accomplish theirs yeah, yeah absolutely and it also gives them probably a place to start some of the ideas too of what they want mm-hmm yep Excellent. Um, anything else that w you've done besides the magazine? Anything else that on the marketing front that you think has been really effective for you? Uh, well, we've, we've done uh, several open houses, okay. and um, you know where we, um, uh, you know, have hors d'oeuvres and wine and and uh, and stuff like that. And and those those are really good too because um, people can meet face to face and look at the materials and and kind of uh, it's it's a good way of to start relationships with designers and architects. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of your business is built off that old sales saying, people buy from people they like. So you've been out there meeting a lot of people. So when we come back, we're going to talk to Mike a little bit about some of the suggestions we had for him at Down to Business for Crocodile Rocks. We'll be right back after the break.